Welcome back boys. Recently I've been getting a question. I've had guys that have had their blood work done to check the testosterone levels and they keep asking me, Jack, I've, I've got high test. I've got high total test. What's the problem with me? I don't feel good. I don't feel like I've got high testosterone, but the doctor's telling me that I do. And I made this video a while ago. It's part of my course, uh, Tribute Testosterone course. It's how to actually read your blood work. So this video will tell you exactly how to look at your results how do you actually read them? How do you actually figure out whether you've got good testosterone levels or whether you might still have bad testosterone levels? Because there's a formula you need to use. You cannot just look at your free and total levels. You actually need to delve a little bit deeper into it. So I hope you enjoy it. And then after this, you'll know exactly what to look for and check your testosterone levels properly. If you want to join the course after you've seen this module, you think it'd be worth it for you to naturally boost your testosterone, to get more energy, to get stronger, to get more muscle mass, more confidence, uh, then check out the link in the description. You also get added to our WhatsApp community. So, boys, enjoy the video, and I'll see you tomorrow on the next one. <gasps> testosterone levels and blood tests. Everything you need to know about what is normal testosterone levels, whether you should get your blood work done, and just sort of how to keep an eye on your testosterone if you have the funds for it. So, normal test levels range from 300 nanograms per deciliter to 1,100 nanograms per deciliter. Now. The problem is that someone with 300 nanogram per deciliter testosterone is going to feel very, very different to somebody with 1,100, like miles and miles apart. Now, the problem with this is, is that a doctor would call both of those scores normal. So I think it's very important that you get this tested and you have a look at what it is because you might have had tests in the past. Your doctor might have said, yep, yeah, your, your test levels are completely normal and you're actually totally out of whack. Now, 50 years ago, normal testosterone levels would look like 700 nanograms per deciliter up to 1,600. That's how much testosterone has been dropping. That is one of the, the biggest problems that men face today. It's just due to our new lifestyles and our lack of activity, the foods that we're eating, um, our testosterone is dipping year on year. So that's why we have to use these test boosting protocols. Whereas when we were back hunting and gathering, we probably wouldn't have needed to. Now, my own testosterone level is 956 nanogram per deciliter. And I've also had before a 390 uh, nanogram per deciliter around that. I can't remember the exact number. Um, and I can tell you they are, they are miles and miles apart. When I had those um, 300 scores, I was struggling to gain extra muscle. I had a very low sex drive and I had a constant brain fog. And, and I actually had quite bad anxiety. I wasn't very confident. I wasn't able to do, to do anything. I was actually getting a little bit worried about even going to the shop. So like doing a simple thing like buying milk. So it's very, very odd to call that a normal score. Uh, which is quite worrying, but now you boys know. Blood work, should you test your levels? Now, if you want to know for certain what your testosterone is, if you're getting some of the symptoms of low testosterone, then you obviously need to check your levels to be 100% sure. You might feel a certain way, but you still need to check. And then obviously you should check again once you've used this protocol or you've used another protocol or whatever you've used to see if your testosterone levels have actually increased. So if you've got access to the funds, you definitely should. Cost roughly 40 to 70 pounds. Just put in free and total testosterone blood work in the UK or anywhere in the world. And there should be one where they send you a vial. You just prick your own finger. You put the blood in the pot. You send it back. You do the test in the morning. They send it back in like one, one or two days. So that's very, very effective. Just make sure you get free and total testosterone levels te uh, tested, not just total. And also you could test vitamin D, estrogen and cortisol levels for an in-depth look at your health. Um, just because if you're taking a vit D supplement, and you're not testing your levels, you might not have low, low vitamin D. That might not be an issue for you. Or you might take too much vitamin D and have, have too much in your blood. So just check those. If you have access to the funds, you can add these on to most blood work providers. Estrogen, it's a female sex hormone. Great to have a look at. And same with cortisol. If you find you're very, very stressed, high cortisol levels tank testosterone. So it's another one worth having a look at. Understanding your results. So let's say you've had your, your blood work done, and this is the reason you need free and total testosterone tested. These are, are the, let's just move that down. This is what your blood work looks like when it's tested for testosterone. So free test is not bound. It's available. It can be used anabolic, anabolically, can be used to create muscle, can be used to make you horny, that sort of thing. Albumin bound test is also available. It's actually a protein that allows the release of testosterone when your body needs it. So you've got a roughly 40% of your total testosterone is testosterone that can actually be used by the body and then you've got globulin bounty this has already been used this this globulin bounty can't be used it's lost its anabolic effect so when you're looking at your results 
what you do to find out your bioavailable testosterone. You do your free testosterone and then about 38% of your total testosterone. And then you'll find the number in nanograms per deciliter of your bioavailable testosterone. And this is what you should be looking at to have sort of over 500 nanograms per deciliter would be very ideal um, if you have that available because that is what's actually going to give you that anabolic effect and give you the benefits that we're talking about. But there you go, boys. If you want to get your tests done, now you know how to do it. You know what to check for. See you on the next one.